This girl, Li Yunesio, woke up from a scary dream. She saw someone dead in a bunk bed and faced strange things like a purple swimming pool and zombie-like students. Suddenly, she got punched, and she woke up startled. In real life, Yunesio is on a school field trip with her classmates from the second grade 3 class at Yul High School. They're on a bus playing games and having a blast. Yunseo secretly likes a boy named Kim Junhee. Her friend, Oh Youngwon, teases her about it. Another student thinks about standing up to the class bully, but a friend advises against it. They arrive at a youth center for the field trip. Yunesio feels a sense of deja vu, but Youngwon brushes it off. The students enter the center, connect to Wi-Fi by scanning QR codes, and download an app. The teacher tries to make a call but struggles with poor signal. The students settle in, some practicing dance, others playing basketball. Yunseo and Jungwon observe and discuss their classmates. Jungwon criticizes the Youth Center app, saying she could make a better one. The teacher, unable to reach the other class, asks Junhee, the class president, to ensure everyone goes to their rooms. The teacher also tells the vice president, Kim Somi, to keep the students in uniform until a group photo is taken. Suddenly, the students realize their phones have no signal. A loud noise and a blackout startle them, but it turns out to be a student playing a prank and telling a ghost story about a past suicide at the center. While most take it lightly, Yunesio looks genuinely scared. Meanwhile, school bullies target another student, playing a mean joke on him. In their room, Jungwon and Yunesio discover the internet isn't working. Yunseo is unfazed, reading a novel, but Jungwon is concerned. They receive a message inviting them to a mafia game, revealing their roles in the game. The students start playing a game where they can be civilians, doctors, police officers, or mafias. They vote to decide who the mafia members are, and the one with the most votes gets executed at midnight. The game ends when either the mafia or civilians win. Civilians, doctors, and police officers are on the same team. The students receive rolls on their phones and start voting. Yunseo and Jungwon, who didn't sign up for the game, wonder how it works without the internet. They search for Junhee, but he says the teacher hasn't returned and no adults are around. They check the offices, but even the landlines are off. Yunseo receives a message to go to the pool where Somi and her friends fake a birthday party. Somi throws Yunesio into the pool and she struggles, feeling like something pulls her down. Junhi saves her, revealing he quit swimming due to past trauma. Somi fake apologizes and an announcement starts a 60-second timer for voting. They all vote for Hyo Yul, who acts strange, banging his head and jumps out the window, dying. He was a civilian. The episode ends with a song playing and the students suddenly fall asleep. The next morning, they're confused and get a message saying the police officer and mafia took actions in the game. They find out Junwon was killed by the mafia. The second round starts, and they must vote for a suspected mafia by midnight. Yunseo worries about Jumwon and tries to find him. Some students search for the announcer. They split into two groups, finding Jumwon dead and the announcement room empty. Yunseo thinks he was killed recently. Kim Jun tells Junhee, the class president, to lead. Junhee suggests leaving the youth center for help. They plan to walk to a gas station since their phones don't work. But an announcement says they must play the game inside a marked area, and crossing the line means someone gets hurt. Two students accidentally cross and hurt themselves a lot. The announcer says they were just regular students, not part of the mafia. The game goes on. Scared, they discuss what to do. Junhee wants to wait, but some disagree. Yunseo Jungwon and Junhee go to the roof for a phone signal. Kim Jun grabs some keys. On the roof, they see the marked area leading into a forest. They figure they need to follow a white line without crossing it. Back with the group, they share the plan to follow the line to a nearby village for help. Junhee reassures everyone that sticking to the plan will be okay. They begin walking along the marked path, hoping it will lead them out of this dangerous game. The students decide to send some people to check where the trail leads. Junhee volunteers, but Yunhee is asked to stay behind as she's not feeling well. There's an argument about Yunhee slowing Junhee down, but eventually, Somi, Dehi, Hai and Ho, and another student volunteer to go. Yunesio hears someone calling her, but no one is there. Nahi gets hurt on the way up the trail but decides to continue with the others. Meanwhile, Kyungjun and his friends find a snack bar and decide to keep it for themselves. Yunesio asks for help to place the dead bodies in the freezers. While doing this, she notices odd things about Junwon's death. The freezer isn't as cold as it should be and they try to lower the temperature. They also wonder why their phones still have power when they haven't charged them. While leaving the freezer, Yunesio hears a strange noise and investigates. She follows the sound to a basement, where it seems like a ghost is behind her. She finds an office with computers and tries to use the landline, but it's off. After leaving, the computers turn on, showing CCTV footage of different rooms. Back in her room, Jungwon is trying to get information about the game's code but fails. Jungwon tells Yunesio that the phones of the dead students won't work or charge. 
Yunesio questions if the phone dies with its owner. She also shares her suspicion of seeing a ghost, but Jungwon dismisses it. The volunteers reach the end of the line and notice something strange. The people they saw from afar aren't moving, and even the seagulls seem frozen. So me and Dong Haiyan investigate further. Unfortunately, Dong Haiyan slips, violating the rules. Somi seems to push him instead of helping, leading to his immediate execution, and he ends his life like the others. In episode 3, the students receive messages on their phones saying that Dong Haiyan, who died earlier, was a civilian. The volunteers who went outside explain the circumstances of Dong Haiyan's death. Junhi informs them that there's no way out and they are trapped, so their only option is to complete the game. Yunesio feels guilty about suggesting they explore the lines, blaming herself for Dong Haiyan's death. Yongwon comforts her and urges her to figure out a way forward. As they head to the office, they come across a bullied student called by Kyungjun, trying to stop him from going. Junhee stays in the office, realizing that everything, from phones to files, is fake. Yunseo and Jungwon overhear him losing it and rush to check. He tells them that everything is an illusion. Kyungjun and his friends bully Debiam, trying to understand the game. Debiam explains the rules, and they consider randomly selecting someone to kill but dismiss the idea. They question why Junwon was killed and try to understand the game's rules. Other students discuss the game, trying to find the mafia and make a plan. Nahi is comforted by Hai and Ho and they promise to survive. Students divide into groups to understand the game and who killed Junwon. Yunseo, Youngwon, and Junhee decide to ask others not to vote to prevent further deaths. They rescue Debiam from Kyungjun, leading to a fight. Yunesio convinces Kyungjun to gather at the auditorium. Somi's gang blames each other, and Unha faces trouble for suggesting to kill Hyo Yul. Somi is accused of pushing Dong Haiyan outside the marked area. When the students gather, Junhee suggests not voting, but Kyungjun secretly keeps his phone. An announcement gives them one minute to vote, but they decide to leave it to chance. After midnight, an alarm sounds, and the announcer starts randomly executing students. Chaos ensues as they rush to grab their phones and vote. Yunesio tries to help Junhee, who appears to be having a panic attack. In episode 4, the students are in chaos, struggling in the darkness to find their phones and vote. The announcer keeps announcing more deaths, and sadly, the students commit suicide. Somi votes for Unha, and the others follow suit. Even though Unha votes for Somi later, it's too late. Yunesio tries to save Unha by asking others to split their votes, but it doesn't work. Kim Jun finds Hai and Ho's phone and throws it away. Unable to find his phone, Hai and Ho hangs himself, and Nahi desperately calls out for him. Unha is voted the most, blaming everyone before leaving to execute herself. The next morning, Yunesio wakes up from a dream and finds Hai and Ho's body still hanging. They discover Ju Hyung is dead, strangled by the mafia. The announcer reveals that Ju Hyung was a civilian and the doctor saved Cha Yu Jun before the previous vote. Students blame Jun Hee for advising them not to vote and he apologizes before leaving. Kim Jun tries to avoid blame and Jun Hee considers leaving the designated area but decides against it. Students argue about who's to blame. Jungwon insists Kyung Jun is suspicious, but he deflects blame, claiming he was smart not to trust Jun Hee. Yunesio suggests finding the game's creator to leave safely. They agree to put the bodies in the freezer, though some, including Kyung Jun, initially refuse but are forced to help. Yunesio urges Jun Hee to stop blaming himself and join in finding the person behind the game. While alone in the freezer, Yunesio hears a strange noise, investigates, and sees a ghost approaching, causing her to panic and scream. The students think it's an asthma attack, give her an inhaler, and she faints. In the infirmary, Nahi explains what happened, struggling with the loss of Hyun Ho. Meanwhile, other students discuss coming clean about their roles, but no one agrees. Kim Jun suggests Jun Hee might be the mafia, linking the suggestion not to vote to many civilian deaths. Somi argues that even mafias died following that suggestion. They suspect Cha Yu Jun's friends of being doctors who saved him. Somi is accused of voting for Unha first, and she retaliates with her own allegations, adding confusion. The arguments continue, and Kyung Jun is the first to vote, choosing Waram. His minions follow suit and recruit more, leaving the discussion. As more people vote for Waram, a campaign begins to prove they are civilians. Yunhi blames himself for not stopping them from voting again. Waram asks participants to vote for Kyung Jun as payback, warning of his retaliation. Yun Hee and his friends decide to vote for Kyung Jun. As the clock ticks, Jisoo and Yu Jun are the last to vote. After voting, Yunesio shows Juwon and Nahi the wall opening, trips, and falls through it. She discovers a room full of computers monitoring the students. In episode 5, Yunesio discovers a room full of computers realizing they're being watched. She follows a ghost-like figure, ending up on a strange floor T she can't text her friends, and a ringing phone traps her. Exploring, she finds a photo album of schools, including hers, with a strange picture. She escapes through a wall opening. Juwon and Nahi wait anxiously for Yunesio. Youngwon searches for her but finds a dead end. The voting dilemma continues as Wuram has seven votes and Kyungjun has six. 
Kyung Jun takes desperate measures. Jun Hee and Somi try to convince Jisoo and Yu Jun to vote for Kyung Jun, but Jisoo refuses. Jung Won convinces Mina to help him get to Waram. Mina tricks Waram and they torture him until he confesses to being the mafia. So Mi and Jun Hee search for Waram but find his room empty. Ju Won and Nahi are about to leave when Yunesio returns, sharing her findings and a strange photo. Jun Hee interrupts, asking about Waram and they decide to help search. They hear Waram announce he's a mafia through the speaker and Jisoo and Yu Jun vote for him. Jun Hee breaks down the door and Waram grabs an axe, intending to attack Ken Jun. He's officially announced for execution and splits his own skull with the axe. The announcer reveals Waram was a mafia shown in a flashback killing Ju Hyung. Yoon Seo is overwhelmed and Kyung Jun is pleased. The students rush to hide as the night has come, Toon plays and they fall asleep. In episode 6, the students wake up to an announcement that Jisoo, a citizen, was killed by the mafia. Despair fills the air and Kyung Jun takes charge, claiming responsibility for identifying the mafia. He accuses Jun Hee, So Mi, Yoon Seo, and Jun Won of being mafia accomplices. The four deny it, presenting alibis. Kim Jun insists Jun Hee is the mafia, dismissing their pleas. Yoon Seo suggests checking the CCTV footage she found, but it's deleted. To save Yoon Seo, Ju Won promises to retrieve the files. Kyung Jun and his gang vote for Yoon Seo, who asks for time to prove innocence. Meanwhile, So Mi and Nahi argue in the infirmary. Somi suggests voting for Yunesio, causing tension. Mina intervenes before the fight escalates. Juwon explains to Yunesio and Junhee that she can retrieve some files, but only up to Jisoo's killing. Yunesio shows Junhee the wall entrance and a mysterious photo. They explore it again but reach a dead end. Junhee assures Yunseo he won't vote against her, and they try to find more evidence against the mafia. They use a UV light in Jisoo's room, deducing the door was broken with Waram's axe. However, they can't trace the mafia due to accidental blood splatter. They receive a message that the CCTV footage has been retrieved. The students gather to watch CCTV footage, discovering a ghostly figure. The footage becomes shaky and the hard drive starts burning. They manage to put out the fire. Yunesio insists she saw the ghost in a previous picture, showing it to the group. She urges them to believe her and suggests finding the game's creator instead of turning against each other. Confusion reigns and the students head to the pool where the ghost is seen. Junhi proposes a new voting plan since time is running out. Yunesio received four votes, so they nominated someone else and evenly spread the remaining votes. Junhi suggests himself, hoping to survive if no one gets the most votes. After the vote, they believe the plan worked, but the announcer reveals that Yunesio and Junhi are tied. The students have five minutes to vote between them, and only those who didn't vote for the two can participate. Panic ensues as the lights go off and an alarm sounds. Somi starts a vote for Yunesio, tearing up the ghost picture in her hands. Jun Hee, experiencing flashbacks of past losses, decides to sacrifice himself. He admits to being a mafia, and the students vote for him. Somi pleads for him, but Yunesio refuses to leave his side. The students run to safety as night approaches. Ju Won and another student drag Yunesio away as Jun Hee falls into the pool and drowns. The episode ends with a flashback revealing Somi as Jisoo's killer the night before. Now she stands over Yunesio with an axe, ready to strike as the credits roll. In the next episode, Somi is about to attack Yunesio with an axe, blaming her for Junhee's death. However, a rule reminder from the announcer stops her, stating the killing before 6 a.m. is against the rules. Somi reluctantly postpones her plans. The next morning, Yunesio finds Junhee's lifeless body in the swimming pool and confesses her feelings to him. In a shocking twist, it's announced that the doctor healed Junhee, bringing him back to life. Yunseo and Junhee embrace, but Somi gets upset when she learns they are looking for a torn, ghost picture. Somi blames Yunesio for Junhee's death and insists they stop talking about the ghost. Meanwhile, Unchan and another student find Jin Ha with a bloody shirt. Before they can learn more, the announcer reveals that Shin Sungbin was killed by the mafia. The students suspect Min Ha when Nahi discovers Sungbin's bloody body. Yunesio examines the crime scene and notes the unusually violent attack, suggesting a personal grudge against Sungbin. Min Ha pleads with Kyung Jun to vouch for his innocence. During the discussion, someone notices Jun Hee's name written on the wall. Speculations arise about who wrote it and why. The students consider the possibility that it was done by the doctor or the police. Jun Hee admits he lied about being a mafia the previous day, thanking the doctor for saving him. However, the students become more suspicious of Jun Hee given the mysterious circumstances of his revival and his undisclosed status during the execution. Kyung Jun becomes suspicious of Jun Hee, suggesting he might be the mafia. This sparks tension, almost leading to a physical fight between Kyung Jun and Yoon Seo. Min Ha, under strong suspicion, confronts Kyung Jun but is beaten by him. Jun Hee intervenes, urging Kyung Jun to listen to others and decide collectively on their next move. Jun Hee proposes reconvening at 11 p.m. to discuss their voting strategy. While the students disperse, Jun Hee confronts So Mi, asking her not to frame someone else to save him. So Mi threatens him, but Jun Hee remains unfazed. 
Min Ha, determined to prove his innocence, shadows Kyung Jun, realizing that only Kyung Jun knows their hiding spots. Meanwhile, other students focus on pressing matters, like the mysterious appearance of Jun Hee's name on the wall. They speculate about potential other names and question the doctor's actions. Jun Hee comforts Yoon Jun, still grieving over his girlfriend. Later, Yoon Seo discovers strange phenomena, including a ghost, a key, and a message instructing her to find the game host. When Yoon Seo shares her experiences, Jun Hee believes her, but Ju Won and others doubt her story. Despite this, they decide to keep the key and mission a secret to avoid unnecessary suspicion. Yoon Seo promises to find evidence to support her claims. In a separate plotline, Min Ha follows Kyung Jun, who confesses to being framed for Sung Bin's murder. They suspect each other and engage in a physical fight. Yoon Jun overhears their conversation, and in the ensuing struggle, Kyung Jun accidentally pushes Yoon Jun, causing him to hit his head on a brick. Fearing Yoon Jun might expose their secrets, Kyung Jun recruits Min Ha to help finish him off. The episode ends with them attacking Yoon Jun's head with a brick. Episode 8 begins with Kyung Jun and Min Ha leaving Yoon Jun severely injured after a brutal attack with a brick. In a flashback, it is revealed that Yoon Jun was a doctor who saved Jun Hee and another student. He wanted to save his girlfriend too, but there's a cooldown period before he can use his healing abilities again. Meanwhile, Yoon Seo and Jun Hee search for the photo album to use as evidence. The announcer informs the students that Yoo Jun, the doctor, is dead, shocking everyone. Yoon Seo deduces that Yoon Jun wasn't killed by the mafia and starts investigating the crime scene with Jun Won. They discover a hidden bloody brick, a familiar footprint, and a piece of a shoe sole. The students help move Yoon Jun's body to the freezer and gather to discuss the incident. Eun Chan finds a message on the wall supposedly from the police, accusing Jun Hee and Da Bum of being mafias. The students are agitated and Jun Hee denies being a mafia. Yoon Seo supports him, suggesting the message is fake. Somi accuses Yoon Seo of writing the message, but Ju Won defends her. Kim Jun tears down the message and demands the students reveal their roles. However, Yoon Seo reveals evidence pointing to Yoon Jun's killer. In a room, Yoon Seo shows the students a picture of the footprint and a piece of a shoe sole. Jun Hee identifies it as a basketball shoe accessory. Suspicion falls on Kyung Jun and Min Ha, who both wear sports shoes. Kyung Jun quickly shows his shoes, but Min Ha hesitates. When they check, the shoe sole accessory matches Min Ha's shoes. The students are shocked, and Min Ha admits his guilt, accusing Kyung Jun of killing the doctor. A fight ensues, and Kyung Jun inadvertently mentions the brick, catching the attention of Yoon Seo and Ju Won. The students discover that Kyung Jun was involved in Yoon Jun's murder. A fight breaks out between Kyung Jun and Min Ha, with Jun Hee getting hurt while trying to intervene. Yoon Seo also attempts to step in but is pushed away. Witnessing this, Jun Hee loses his temper and punishes Kyung Jun. The situation is finally diffused when other students intervene. During the confrontation, Kyung Jun notices a marker falling from Min Ha's pocket and accuses him of writing an accusatory message on the wall. The students become more suspicious of Min Ha, who denies writing the message. The students decide to lock Kyung Jun and Min Ha in separate rooms without their phones until voting time. So Mi and Choi Mi Na plan to find the keys to the cafeteria for safety. Meanwhile, Yoon Seo tends to Jun Hee's wounds and they share a sweet moment. They then return to the group and Yoon Seo discovers Povidone, suspecting it might have been used to write the message on the wall. In a meeting, the students discuss what to do with Kyung Jun and Min Ha. Jun Hee suggests returning their phones during voting time. The discussion includes whether to reveal the identities using the police's skills, but Yoon Seo opposes, fearing it might endanger the police. The students hide as Jun Hee returns Min Ha's phone, who realizes he's been voted out. Kyung Jun, confident in his insurance, admits to writing the message on the wall. However, Da Bum, So Mi, and Mi Na confront him for the keys to the cafeteria. Kyung Jun reveals the hiding spot under threat, but Da Bum tricks him, locks him in his room, and retrieves the keys. After the voting, Min Ha, a citizen, is executed, while So Mi and Mi Na hide in the cafeteria. Kyung Jun plans revenge after recalling how he was framed and finding the axe and bloodstained shirts. However, Da Bum, a mafia, has his own agenda. They fight, and Da Bum, wanting to spare Kyung Jun from hearing his own death, puts earphones on him as he falls asleep. In a flashback, it's revealed that Da Bum received a message about being a mafia during the early days of the game. Later, Da Bum, wearing an apron to avoid bloodstains, kills Sung Bin, giving So Mi an axe and a bloody shirt to frame Kyung Jun. In the present, Da Bum argues with So Mi about killing Kyung Jun, ultimately deciding to handle it himself. However, Da Bum forgets to take Kyung Jun's phone. The next morning, Kyung Jun is found dead, and the students debate whether to help move his body. So Mi and Mina refuse to assist, breeding suspicion. Da Bum, feeling anxious about being suspected, manipulates Eun Chan and Yun Woo, casting doubt on Yoon Seo. So Mi tries to convince Nahi and Mina to vote against Yoon Seo, but Mina privately shares her suspicions about Da Bum. So Mi discourages her, claiming a lack of evidence. Eun Chan and Yun Woo become suspicious of the girls, but So Mi lies about finding the cafeteria keys. 
Meanwhile, Junhee, Yunesio, and Jungwon decide to focus on finding the mafia and solving the host's mission. They discover Kyungjun's phone in an unexpected place, raising questions about the bum's actions. While searching, Yunesio opens a mysterious door and finds a locker with a class photo. When she mentions the name, Park Seun, revealed as the ghost host, the lights flicker, surprising everyone. After learning that Park Seun is the game host, the students recall she was a classmate who had committed suicide. They suspect Seun might seek revenge through the game if she is truly killed. Somi tries to frame Yunesio, implying her closeness to Seun and suggesting she knows about the game. The students discuss the possibility of mafias being responsible for Seun's death, particularly Wuram and Somi, who had issues with her. In private, Somi dismisses Nahi's concerns about their role in Seun's death. She later informs Dabum about Nahi potentially revealing the truth. Dabum warns Somi to control Nahi or the mafias won't protect her. Meanwhile, Junhee, Yunesio, and Jungwon discover Kyungjun's phone in an unexpected place. They start suspecting they were tricked into voting out Minha and Kyungjun. Mina becomes distressed, fearing Seonis vengeful spirit. Somi shifts her focus, suggesting Dabum is suspicious and brings up Nahi as a possible suspect. As night falls, Yunesio interrogates Dabum about Kyungjun's phone, but he feigns ignorance. Somi and Nahe deny wrongdoing regarding Seon. Unchan and Yunwu press them about their past, leading Somi to accuse Nahi of distributing a scandalous video of Seun. Nahi, claiming to be the police, insists on her innocence, but Somi maintains her accusation. The students are shocked, and Nahi challenges Somi to reveal her identity. Nahi then exposes herself to the police, revealing Somi as the mafia. Following Nahi's revelation as the police and Somi as a mafia, the students vote to eliminate Somi, who tries to reveal the other mafias but starts bleeding, prompting the announcer's warning. Night falls, and the mafias, including Dabum, target Nahi. However, she sets a trap with Junhee's help to catch the remaining mafias. The next day, Nahi's death is announced, leaving the students worried without the police. They decide to focus on unraveling Seun's death. Junhee recalls a failed attempt to save Seun, and the students discuss the mysterious disappearances of Mina and Dabum. Junhee reveals a trick he used with Nahi involving neon paint and air freshener to expose the mafia. By checking the shoes with a UV light, they discover blood on Mina's shoes. The students want to vote her out, but Yunseo intervenes, finding the evidence insufficient. Yunseo and Jungwon investigate further, discovering blood at the scene of Nahi's death. They conclude that the mafia was injured while killing Nahi. Junhee, frustrated and tired of losing friends, expresses his desire to go home. Mina, desperate, tries to bribe Yunwoo and Unchan with food, but they reject her. Jungwon informs her about the wounded mafia, and Mina shows she has no injuries, giving him the cafeteria keys. Yunseo Jungwon and Junhee agree the mafia is playing mind games. Junhee texts everyone about a hidden video camera charging in the cafeteria, causing Dabum to panic. Oonso intentionally misleads Dabum, while Yungun watches Mina. They discover Yunwoo nursing a chest wound, suspecting him of hurting himself while killing Nahi. Mina and Jungwon drag Yunwoo toward the cafeteria, while Yunesio and Junhee catch Dabum checking the video camera. In episode 11, chaos ensues as Yunwoo is accused of being a mafia along with Dabum due to a chest wound. The students question them and Unchan becomes suspicious of his friend. Yunwoo feels betrayed when Unchan votes him out, leaving him heartbroken. As night falls, Junhee confronts Dabum and realizes he is a mafia. Meanwhile, Yunesio confronts Jungwon, who admits to being a mafia and reveals their past strategies. Yunesio pleads for the game to end but falls asleep before Jungwon responds. Yunwoo seeks solace in the cafeteria, while Junhee and Dabum engage in a physical altercation. Mina encounters Yunwoo who attempts to kill her, but the execution saves her. Yunwoo dies by choking and is revealed to be a citizen. Dabum, feeling slighted, joins forces with Yongwon to eliminate the remaining citizens. Yongwon plans to kill Junhee and Yunesio while Dabum targets the rest. Dabum steals Yunesio's phone and helps Yongwon put her in the freezer, planning to leave her there to die. Jungwon proceeds to kill Unchan and Mina, but Dabum finds Yunesio's phone still running. He questions Jungwon, who challenges him to check Yunesio's body. Dabum, surprised to find Yunesio alive, confronts Jungwon, and the episode ends with Dabum about to stab her. It appears Jungwon may have hidden Yunesio and Junhee to save them. In the last episode, the scary game keeps going with lots of surprises and secrets. At the start, Dabum is about to hurt Jungwon, but suddenly they hear a message saying mafias can't hurt each other. Jungwon sprays pepper spray on Dabum and runs away, locking him in a cold place. Dabum, feeling very cold, mistakenly attacks Nahi's dead body, thinking it's Yunesio. The next morning, Yunesio and Junhee wake up, finding out that Jungwon might have betrayed them. Yunesio is very upset, but Jungwon doesn't have time to explain and says they need to find Dabum, who escaped. While Yunesio is trying to understand what's happening, she discovers a gift box. 
Inside, there's a USB with files from Jungwon. When Yunesia looks at the files, she finds out a shocking truth. Jungwon is not a real person, but a character representing their friend Seun, who passed away. Seun's parents created this strange game for revenge. Suddenly, Yunesia wakes up in a weird place that looks like a lab. She sees her friends stuck in a machine, and a man appears, saying they are still in the game. Seun's parents want revenge for their daughter's death, blaming the students. They force the students to keep playing the game, making them suffer. Yunesio begs them to stop or at least allow her to take responsibility and let the others go. However, Seun's parents refuse and warn her that she is not fully awake and she shouldn't fight it or she will get sick. Soon, Yunesio passes out as she begs Seun's parents for mercy and they connect her back to the machine. Seun's parents want the kids to relive the pain and suffering in every game. They wipe out the students' memories before a new game, intent on making the kids suffer and see no hope for them. The dad, on the other hand, argues that Jungwon intentionally gave Yunesio her memories to put a stop to the game. Yunesio returns to the game with her memories intact. The students are on their way to the center and she relaxes for a while when she no longer sees Jungwon. However, she turns to look at Kyungjun's gang in the back and spots Jungwon. Jungwon gives a stern stare and Yunesio starts freaking out. 